If anyone needs any more evidence that Britain is being run as an anti-white, corrupt police state, take a look at this. Good evening, you beautiful patriots. Um, bit of a random video at a weird time of night on a Friday. As you can see, I am in my clothing. Um, just got back in from St Anne Street Police Station, Liverpool. Five hours I've been sat down there in the uh, waiting room, waiting for Kim. Many of you will know Kim, um, especially my followers, most of you will know Kim, my other half. This morning, she was on her way to work about 10 o'clock. And as she's in traffic, a car next to her catches her eye. So she has a bit of a look and a double, one of them, you know what I mean? Double look, something caught her eye. It's only the Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Anna Rothery. Um, if you don't know Anna Rothery, she's now the Lord Mayor of Liverpool. She takes great pride in telling everybody on multiple occasions how proud she is to be the first black female Lord Mayor of Liverpool. She's not really black. <laughs> I think she may be like a granddad, might have been Jamaican, something like that. But <laughs> um, anyway, point being, um, as Kim's had another look and gone, oh shit, it's Anna Rothery. Anna Rothery's put a window down and said, what's your problem? So Kim's gone, I'll tell you what my problem is. And before she could start speaking, Anna Rothery said, I know who you are. I recognise you. I know who you are. So anyway, Kim said, I don't give a shit, basically. Here's what I think of you. This is my problem. You're an anti-white racist. You've protected paedophiles. Fact. Um, Aaron Joe Anderson tipped paedophiles off. Um, made them delete all the evidence when, when they knew the police were on the way to raid the house. Another story. But <clears throat> So Kim's given her a bit. Um, and she's given her a bit back. Thought nothing of it. She's drove off. She's drove off. Um, eight hours later, the police in an unmarked car have turned up outside her house. And nicked her. Won't tell her what she's been charged with. Haven't given her a solicitor. Haven't allowed her a phone call. They won't tell me, well, they, have, they don't have to tell me any information. They won't tell me anything, which, like I say, within their rights, I suppose, because she's over 18, but they won't tell nobody anything. She hasn't got a solicitor. She hasn't been allowed a phone call. Um, I've got a couple of videos, which I've just took from down the station. One of them saying that, um, if you've been arrested, you, you're not necessarily entitled to, uh, to entitled to a phone call. And another one of two constables on the way into the station who then said, yeah, of course you're allowed a phone call. You're entitled to a phone call. Um, I've had a bit of shit off the police where they were saying, like basically laughing about it, laughing at me saying, when I said she's allowed a phone call, they was like sniggering and said, oh, it's not America, mate. It's not America, mate. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to obviously wait up and if she gets out at one or two in the morning, I'll be straight down to pick her up. But what are we living in? Please share this video as far and wide as it can go. What kind of country are we living in? She hasn't got out of the car. She hasn't threatened her. She hasn't made any racist remarks. She hasn't swore. She, ha she hasn't done anything. They've come and arrested her on the orders of Anna Rothery. She's in charge. She's the Lord Mayor of, of Liverpool. She's in charge of the police, technically. She has ordered her frontline soldiers, the police, to come down and arrest her. Literally, she went and got her nails done. Came home and police nicked her. Um, like I say, she's been in there six hours now. Don't know if she's going to be out tonight, tomorrow, if she's in court tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Nothing. Don't know anything. So please, uh, I don't want to waffle on too much. I just wanted to put this out there and I want everyone to see it. This is the Lord Mayor of a city, a major city in the UK, abusing her power, abusing her power. We've had issues, an issue with this, this woman for a while. Like I say, she's been spotted on videos. I got arrested in Liverpool after getting jumped by Antifa. She was with him, she's on the video. Um, on the Tommy Robinson's MEP campaign in Liverpool, James Goddard was attacked. She was among them. She's on video speaking about us being far-right fascists and racists and we're not welcome here. And um, Joe Anderson, who was with her also, the other mayor of Liverpool, was saying about how proud he was of his city for running the Nazis out. This is what we're living with. This is what I've moved into. I moved here. 
I moved here to be amongst this, but um, yeah, I won't ramble again. Uh, I won't keep going on. I'll leave it at that. Um, like I say, please, please, please share it. Comment on it. Um, let's get people to see this because it's um, whether you know Kim, you don't know Kim, you like her, you don't like her, whatever, this is an abuse of power. And if it was um, someone well-known, then I'm sure you'd all be sharing it and, and there'd be people kicking off right off about it. But Kim's one of ours. She's one of mine, obviously. But uh, she's one of ours. She's a top, top patriot. Loyal to the cause. Loyal to the people in the cause. Um, so let's... I hope she supports it herself that I'm doing this. But let's give her some support and um, get this going around. And hopefully, hopefully, Anna Rothery or the police, Merseyside police, will see it. Um, and they'll know that they've... Uh, They've took a wrong person here and it's not going to just be let go. You're abusing your power and we're not going to have it. And that's the end of it. We have actually now got to the point where elected officials are baiting people in the streets, then having them arrested. This young woman has had her home raided. She was arrested, held in a cold and filthy cell for hours and hours on end, denied a phone call, denied a solicitor. This sounds more like North Korea than the UK. All of that happened because Kim, a young British patriot, dared to look twice at the Lord Mayor of Liverpool. When councillors feel so empowered that they can call out an individual for simply looking at them, then treat the British police force as their own personal mob to go and round them up. It just goes to show how deep the corruption runs within the British establishment. Anna Rothery is behaving like a gangster and it's time she was stopped. Here she is stood with Antifa at a rally against a Patriot group. Well, today we've had uh, the North West Patriots uh, trying to come to the city to spread their hate. Um, they've come in through Moorfield Street Station or attempted to, but because we're such a strong city and we're so against these people coming here, they didn't make it out of the station once again. Here she is speaking at Stand Up to Racism. But, you know, this is, this is true. All the work that we do is, you know, we've been doing this for decades. My gosh, I was a very young girl when I first started fighting against racism and fascism. We all have an opportunity on a day-to-day -day basis to challenge this and tackle it where it hurts. I also was saying, give me Tommy Robinson any day of the week. Give me Nick Griffin any day of the week. I know who they are. And here are the same stand-up to racism thugs attacking British patriot and activist James Goddard. Uh, fuck off out in Liverpool. Fuck off out in Liverpool. What are you doing? No. <laughs> so uh, this is what they do. This is the tolerant left. Get out of my face, you Fucking carpet bagger. In the words of Donald Trump, we seriously need to drain the swamp and get these mobsters out of office.